Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video. And today in this video, I'm gonna show you how is the Elixir OS based on Android 8.1 on Redmi Note 3. So without further delay, let's make it happen. If you're wondering how to flash this ROM, the process is pretty simple and similar to other ROMs. You just have to use official TWRP 3.2.1.0 and boot into TWRP, wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Just go to install, select the ROM, gapps, flash and reboot. That's it. It's pretty simple. So I am not showing you the process right now. You can watch that in any custom ROM videos that I did. I will link a card of the playlist. And this ROM has some nifty little features which I will talk about. But before that, let me show you all the customizations this ROM comes with. All the customizations are inside this magical world in settings. Inside status bar, we have status bar items. From here, you have headset, bluetooth etc icons. Next, we have clock options. From here, you can enable AM, PM and you can customize date style and font size etc. Next, we have battery icon customizations. Here, we have plenty of options like circle, dotted circle, big circle, big dotted circle and square. After that, you have option to choose to show battery percentage near icon or inside the battery icon. Next, we have status bar brightness control which is working fine as you can see. After that, we have double tap to sleep on the status bar which is working fine too and you have option to enable network traffic indicator if you want that moving on next we have quick setting column and row numbers customizations you can disable or enable quick setting toggle titles as you can see now it only shows the icons without titles and now it shows the icons with titles again and you can adjust the transparency of the quick settings panel from here which is pretty cool. Next we have buttons. From here you can enable on screen buttons if you want that. And this home button does have google pixel like animation as you can see. After that we have volume button customizations. After that, we have long press power button torch which I will show you later. And then we have capacitive hardware buttons, long press, double tap and single tap action customizations. Next we have recents. From here you can enable clear all button if you want that. And as you can see the clear all button is right over here. And we have memory bar which shows the occupied and free RAM status over here in the recent apps panel. Next we have notifications. Here we have heads up which you can also enable or disable from the quick setting toggles. After that we have lock screen customizations. Here we have scramble pin. Double tap to sleep on the lock screen. Face auto unlock which I will show you later. Lock screen charging info. Quick unlock right after you enter pin or password, fingerprint vibration. Next we have system. From here you can customize power button options and advanced reboot by which you can directly boot into recovery or fast boot and swipe three finger for screenshot option which is working fine and screen lock CRT and scale animations is present here etc. And next we have style. From here, you can customize the UI color to dark or light as you want and change the accent color to however you like it. So as we are almost done with the customizations, now let me show you the default launcher. Here we have the modded pixel launcher as stock launcher of this ROM. Google Now Cards is working fine over here. And as you can see, if you double tap on the empty area of the home screen, it locks the phone. And we do have double tap to wake option here. So that is awesome. So let me jump into the launcher settings. As you can see, it says pixel launcher 3 mod. And we have notification dots. Option to change icon shapes. 
even you can change it to your custom icon pack if you want that and what else we have grid column and row numbers etc and here are the quick toggles of this rom yes night mode is working fine over here as you can see here are more toggles and the three finger screenshot gesture is working fine here as you can see now let me just show you the about section on the top we have update checking option like nitrogen os which will just tell you if there is a new update and you can update it later manually if you ask how to do that here is a card for you and as you can see based on android 8.1 audio this is the 31st march 2018 build by the way security patch level is of march 5th the stock kernel over here is reaper kernel and slinux status is enforcing if you need that and here is the display settings for you in advanced you will find double tap to wake option and we have ambient display and always on display features in this rom so that's cool this rom has always on display double tap to wake double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen and double tap to sleep on the lock screen and even on the status bar which is pretty cool and this rom does support face unlock and that is working super fine i mean the face auto unlock is working super fine too and if you want to see the benchmarks here are the benchmarks of n22 and geekbench and the battery life of this rom is pretty good but do note that i did not use a sim card with my device because my primary sim is in the redmi note 5 pro so i think vault is working super fine with this rom but you guys have to try it yourself but i am pretty sure that the vault is working super fine and 4g data and stuff will be working super fine too the battery life with this rom is pretty great i have to say because i did not plug in the device for almost like what 16 hours and still i got like 4 hours of screen on time and i did play pubg on this but the device was not getting hot which is like 45 degree or more i played like one or two games but it did not get heat up so that's pretty cool it might get heated up a little bit with very heavy gaming like 43 or 44 degrees celsius but for me it did not go upwards and night mode is working super fine with this rom which is i guess not working with the latest resurrection remix build i don't know why but that's how it is and one more thing which i like about this rom is the lock screen charging info which is pretty cool like nitrogen os it's working super fine and i like this toggle the torch with power button feature And one more thing I did notice is that the animation speed of the default transitions are set to 0.5 seconds. I don't have a problem with that. The phone feels fast. So that's good. Here are some stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with. We have Elixir Walls which is actually a wallpaper app. Has pretty good collection of wallpapers I gotta say. Next we have a music player, note that there is no audio effects pre-installed in this ROM so you can definitely install Dolby Atmos if you want to. Next we have Substratum theme engine but if you tap over here it redirects you to buy Andromeda. I know Substratum is cool and all but I am not that rich to buy it for 130 rupees and I don't even use Substratum so there is no point. Here is the RAM management of this device. Stuff like Torch, Vault E, Data, Wi-Fi, APC Recombit Scanner, Camera, Hotspot etc should work fine in this ROM. So no issues regarding those. And yeah, the RAM management is good enough but yes some apps did reopen. Consider that if you are very serious about RAM management, 
and the performance is good enough in this ROM for daily driving in my opinion and even for gaming it's good. And stuff like GC Mod 5 portrait mode working super fine with this ROM. Here's a picture to show you that it is working fine. So thank you so much for watching guys. So that wraps up this custom ROM video guys. If you want more videos like this or if you want some more videos about the Redmi Note 5 Pro and Redmi Note 3, subscribe to our channel right here if you love my work. This has been Tito from KD and Dex signing off. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye now. Oh my god, what is this?